This is the diesel tank from an Aristocraft RS3. Today what we're doing is we're installing a Ring Engineering Rail Pro LM3SG. We've modified the tank a little bit. Um, the Rail Pro folks are real straightforward. The, the stickers are quite clear. That big black spot is a heat sink. Keep your fingers clear. We're putting this in a really restricted spot. So right here is a little 5 volt fan and uh, pooped out a little grill from the 3D printer and the exit grill is um, not very visible <laughs> here we go the exit grill looks like that and so it all fits in there very nice and tightly and uh, most of the wiring will reach up through a hole in the center of the chassis right here all right Kind of close to the final assembly stages at last. I wanted to see it all kind of in its constituent pieces before oops, um, before we actually assembled it, so we could see what all has been done. Um, this is an Aristocraft RS3. Up in the center here, you can see the original board that was the nexus of everything. Essentially, you'll notice there's no wires going to it at all. Uh, the smoke unit and the smoke the smoke unit still there. Uh, the ductwork and the fan that pressurized the smoke unit is gone. That can be fixed. I will say that right out front. A fan behind there and um, a lead to a switch on the board readily available. We could turn smoke back on in this thing. Okay. The original headlights were seriously lame. They were just simulations of headlights not designed to make any light. Uh, so, I've gone ahead and replaced the LEDs up here. In addition, there was a rice grain brawl bulb running the running lights. Uh, replaced that with an LED as well. Um, all the charging jack stuff goes to this nice little 3D printed panel that's hidden where there used to be ventilation. Um, let's see here. Oops. When you put it all together, it's invisible. Okay. And so. battery will sit just like that. Plugs into this device right here. I'm just going to run that along long, long ways like that out of sight. Okay. Can we get this, the chassis screwed back together? We're very happy about that. It went together very well. The very last detail, other uh, than the horn and the cover you see over there, uh, you can't see in this very well, um, is attaching the actual LS3 uh, decoder module to everything. And I've made it so that it's fairly easy to disconnect and service. And that's the speaker and all the LED connections. The LEDs all work on common anode. The common anode requires 5 volts. That's what this little connector is for. I don't actually use that ground, interesting enough. Okay, B stands for battery. We hook it up to the other one that says B. Giving up a good tight shove. M equals motor. And again, <coughs> good tight shove. All right, and this looks really snug and kind of crazy, but air will flow through there. That is that is the important part. And the wires will not completely plug stuff up. And it all just screws on just like that. And we'll do that in a second and get back to you here. Nobody wants to watch screws go around. All right, yeah, let's power up. You see, find product. Find product. Finds product. Makes a page. Locomotives. Okay. Okay. 
information, touch save. We're all synced up, we're happy, exit page, um, say go. the sound synced up and it's going to be okay I think. So we have a locomotive all put together. This is a, an aristocraft model. It's 129th scale on a G gauge track. <laughs> uh, okay this is my first experience with Rail Pro. It's been very interesting. Uh, we have it all installed as, as neat as I can in, install it and I've done some customization and, and all the required setup. Oh, I'm sorry. One last thing I haven't done. I haven't done the, the, the current set test, but we'll do that in just a few minutes. And so if we turn it on, we get some power. If we use our Rail Pro hand controller and look for an Alka RS3, we see it. We can do, <coughs> excuse me, things. I pretty much left the buttons in their default setting, and that's okay. Um, I'll rearrange them for mine, I'll let you rearrange them for yours. Uh, next page, uh, engineers got in, we've uh, powered up, ignited the battery, whatever. Time to start the motor. Headlights, ditch lights, ditch lights. Yeah, didn't have ditch lights before. Uh, probably hard to see it going on the rollers, but it's really it's going. It's going well actually. Dynamic brake going down the big hill. Okay, let it go. opposite direction. Front headlight goes out, rear headlight oh, hard to see in the video comes on. And probably equally as hard to see in the video that's rolling backwards right now. The 
Switch fights seem to have funny rules. The controller would imply they're on right now, but they're not. I think it's because we went backwards, which flipped them off automatically, but left the button on. You have to kind of turn them off and turn them back on, but more fun to play with, more things to investigate. I'm unconcerned. Yeah. Select the locomotive and gentlemen, start your engines. Lights.